Hey, what's up y'all? All right, so this is part two now of this video series that I'm doing on how to use a battery powered or a pump sprayer. Now this one is gonna use Prodiamine as well in the WDG formulation, and I'm gonna actually spray 4,000 square feet this time, and I'm gonna do it using a My Four Sons backpack sprayer that I just bought. So the idea will be to show you how to take a brand new sprayer. You don't have to buy this one, you can buy any sprayer, but how to take it out of the box calibrate it, understand what it puts out. Now in this video, I'm only going to use one of the tips actually supplied with the sprayer. And I think that's important to do just to kind of see what comes with your sprayer and understand how it works and you'll see all of that process. And I'm gonna show you how to basically take it from stem to stern, start to finish, and understand your brand new equipment. Because part of really being a, an advanced lawn care nut, I guess would be the way to say it, is to understand your equipment. Sure, I want you to learn your land, learn your lawn. Now it's about learning your equipment. Okay, now that we're back on track, what we're gonna do is what's called a bucket test. And the reason you do a bucket test is you need to understand how many gallons per minute will my sprayer put out. Now there are several ways that that can be, how do I say, um, tweaked. One can be the actual tip that you use, and that's what I'm gonna do. Alexa, stop. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test some different tips because obviously the larger the opening, the more fluid can come out. But then the other thing is, and especially with this one, is how many gallons per minute can your pump put out? Now this has a variable pump and that's one of the reasons I liked it is because you can use this dial right here to you know, increase the uh, gallons per minute that the pump puts out. Okay, so to do this test, you need a bucket that's got markings on the side. You can use a pitcher like this if you wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this bucket. I got this at Home Depot. And what we wanna know is how many gallons per minute are gonna come out. Now, here's the deal though. You don't have to put a full gallon in here. You can put in a quarter gallon or a half gallon or whatever, and then just do the math. And so that's what I'm gonna do. You can see that the uh, first marking here is one quart. So four quarts make a gallon. So I'm just gonna see how long does it take to get one quart of water in this bucket and then multiply by four. And that will let me know how many gallons per minute I'm putting out with the sprayer on the setting that I choose. Now I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, this is way over complicated. Listen, again, I want you to understand the why behind things. I want you to be able to do this type of an exercise, which by the way is easy. Like two week Chemlon techs, True Green techs, they know how to do bucket testing. And in fact, we used to require them to bucket test their truck once a week just to make sure that nothing had changed with the flow so they could keep their applications consistent. So you can do this too. You don't have to do it every week because you're not spraying that often. What are you spraying, like once a month maybe? So you could bucket test once or twice a year really and you're gonna be fine. I don't think your equipment's gonna change that much. But knowing what your equipment outputs with different tips and, and in this case, with different adjustments that you can use. It really allows you to open up the, the myriad or the array of products that you can apply. And it also helps you to apply much, much faster if you have a much, much larger lawn. And we'll go into that a little bit later in the video. Okay, so real quick, the My Four Sons did come with a bunch of different tips. This one looks like something from a Seinfeld episode. All right, I got everything here. I got the Cyclone F-Series, Hyperjet Flow, Stockholm Superstream, you name it. That's the Commando 450. I don't sell that one. What about this? No, that's what we want. It's a Commando 450. No, believe me. It's only used in the circus. It's for elephants. But as far as lawn care goes, I like a fan tip nozzle. And there was only two that looked like that one. There was this one here that looked like it put out a fan spray. And then this one here that will put out a fan spray. And then I was also intrigued by this one. So those are the three that I kind of singled out. And I used this one first because this one looked like it would be the best candidate when it came to a good flat fan spray that would give me a nice consistent application for lawn care type projects. Okay, so the way this works is, is if you put the red button on, it gives you full power, 60 PSI. Whereas if you use the dial, it lets you vary from 20 to 60. So I think what we're gonna do for this test actually is we're just gonna go full bore, 60 PSI, and see what it puts out. Okay, now just for purposes of this video, I have the My Four Sons at the max PSI, which is 60 PSI, and I went ahead and started with this brass flat fan tip. I wanna see how long does it take for one gallon of water to come out of that tip. Now you don't have to do an entire gallon. You can do one quart and then just multiply by four because four quarts is in a gallon. So what I'm timing here is how long does it take to spray out one quart of water into this bucket? So 
So that shows 31 seconds now. Typically, because I mean, I think I'm level here. I didn't put a level on it or anything, but we'll do this three times just to make sure. And I'll take the average of the three. That's because I wanna be, you know, really accurate. But so far, 31.9 seconds. So we'll call that one 32 seconds. So I'm not gonna make you sit through all that, but I did it twice more, and those came out real close to 30 seconds. So we're just gonna call it there. It takes 30 seconds to put out one quart of liquid from the My Four Sons at 60 PSI through this brass tip. Okay, so let's just do some simple napkin math here. If it takes 30 seconds to put out one quart, and four quarts is a gallon, so that means it takes two minutes for one gallon. That's a little bit slow for me. Um, for what I do because I like to keep things to one gallon per 1,000 square feet So if it takes me two minutes to walk the 1,000 square feet, that's a little slow and that's just me That's just what I know from my experiences But if you wanted to walk a little slower or you wanted to walk this way and that way Then that would be a good tip for you two minutes for one gallon or two minutes for 1,000 square feet But I want something that puts out a little bit maybe a little bit more um, I would rather go one minute for 1,000 square feet. That's my preference, that's my walking speed, that's that double fast walk that I talk about. That's also how I was trained at Kimlon. We sprayed 1,000 square feet per minute. So a little bit different type of uh, a wand and swinging action and all that, but that's kind of how I like to go. So that's a little bit slow, so let's try a different one of these tips. Okay, only because it's so cute. <laughs> so next, I wanted to test this one because it looks super interesting. But it doesn't seem like it's, I don't know if it's broken or what. But it's dripping everywhere and it doesn't have a consistent spray. You can see it's leaking out the side there. I don't know if it's missing a I don't know if it's missing a washer or what, but that side seems to be working pretty good, but that side's not. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Looks like this gasket here is mangled so uh, they give you a bunch of extra gaskets so let's see if i can change that out and make that work better well they give you these but these are more rounded that's more flat next i tested the orange flat fan and while it does have a really nice spray pattern when i bucket test it it puts out exactly the same as the brass fan so it looks like the original brass fan that I bucket tested is the one that's gonna be the most logical to use for blanket sprays and lawn applications. And again, this is using the tips that came with the sprayer. I'll be showing you in video three some add-on tips or some, you might wanna call them aftermarket tips that are gonna give you a lot more flexibility. But for now, let's go out and make an application with the brass flat fan tip that came with the My Four Sun sprayer. Now this is a four gallon sprayer. So if using this tip and having this on full blast, it takes two minutes to put out one gallon, it'll take eight minutes then to empty the tank. You follow that? Every gallon takes two minutes to get out. So I have eight minutes to empty this spray tank. Because I do 1,000 square feet for one gallon, that means that this four gallons can cover 4,000 square feet. So one fill, I would fill this one time, I could actually cover 4,000 square feet of lawn space. And those sections are right here, 2,000 square feet, and then that far one back there, 2,000. That's 4,000 square feet of lawn space. I know it looks huge, that's because I have a wide angle lens here on the GoPro. Everybody says that when they get here, like, oh, your lawn's a lot smaller than what it looks like on camera. That's what she said. But for sure, trust me, I've measured this, 2,000 and 2,000. So four gallons would cover that because that's 4,000 square feet, and I do one gallon per thousand. Okay, so we've got, remember, 
It's 13 grams for one gallon for 1,000 square feet, but now we have 4,000 square feet, so we need 52 grams of this in four gallons, and that'll cover our 4,000 square feet. So let's turn this on. It's already on grams. Put this on, tear the weight off. There we go. Now let's fill up to 52 grams. grams. There we go, 52 grams. Still got quite a bit left. This is enough for warm season turf for a 6,000 square foot lawn for an entire year. Remember, I'm only doing one app, just the fall app. That's why there's quite a bit left in here. All right, 52 grams. Now we're good to go. So you wanna fill the sprayer up at least halfway with water first. You never really wanna submerge your hose down into the tank. Just don't get in that habit, keep it up out of the tank. Next, we'll pour in our product here. Okay, now I left a little bit of room right at the top there, and the reason I did that is because this next step is optional. So if you're somebody that's already confused, don't do this. But if you're somebody that has the biostimulant pack and you wanna add some biostimulants in here, this is a good chance to do that. And yes, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some RGS in here because it's not gonna interfere with this application. And since I'm already walking the entire lawn and doing a blanket app and flooding it in, and I'm gonna have to water this in because you have to water in pre-emergence, I might as well get some biostimulants down as well. So I am gonna put in 12 ounces of RGS, which is three ounces per thousand or three ounces per gallon. It's the exact same rate and it'll go out at the exact same pace. So yes, it is okay to mix those in. So because this tip puts out so slow eight minutes for four gallons, I'm gonna have to do it in two passes. So my first pass, I'm going north and south. So I'll check and see how much is left in the tank after doing this one complete pass, and then I'll adjust my walking speed when I go east and west to spray out the rest. Okay, now I'm only halfway done with my app. I get to check and see how many gallons I have left back here. But because this tip puts out so slow, I'm gonna have to go back and go the other way. But let's just check real quick, see how many gallons we have left, because that's how you can adjust your walking speed. Hey, that's not too bad for the old man, huh? That was a total guess. And I'm pretty close to halfway. So I just guessed on what the walking speed would be, but that's what'll happen once you've done this a few times. You kind of just, you can trust your gut. You get like this, this uh, intuition that tells you this is how fast you should walk. Trust your gut. I, I, it's experience, I guess, that's what it is, so. Pretty good. You know, this is not level, so very close. So what that tells me is now I'll keep that exact same walking speed and I'm gonna go this way now and that'll get my applications out evenly. Okay, well all the GoPro's overheated. I didn't overheat in the Florida sun, but the GoPro did. But anyway, I had a little bit left over, you can see there. So whenever you have some left over, and I got this getting watered in right now, but whenever you have some left over, put that around your edges. Cause that's where you're gonna have breakthrough is around edges because of the fact that that's where there's a lot more heat pressure. And also you do weed whack in and all those kind of things, which you can see I need to weed whack these edges. But uh, that's where you're gonna have the most breakthrough. So any extra you have, always do around your edges. <laughs> 